Well, hello there. My name is Jay with CompuMatter and with ServerMatter. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to restore some data using the Copia backup software. And I've only just needed to start restoring this in the past week or so. And so I'm really kind of creating this as a reinforcement for my future self, as well as to help people like you that might be doing it for the first time. There are a couple of ways to do this, and I'm going to show you one of them. In the uh, top left corner of my screen, we have my MySQL database. I had a server failure. Uh, Copy has done a wonderful job of restoring my data back. I've currently stopped MySQL. I have deleted everything in. I did create a backup uh, of everything just in case uh, I need that for whatever reason. So that's always a safe move. Now we're going to come over here to the Copy of Browser Environment where I have entered, I picked a date and time. Uh, we'll, we'll go back to the beginning of that, okay? So I'm going into my uh, var directory, which is where my SQL is stored. I'm picking a date. I'm actually, I'm purposely going back a little further in my case to 11.23. And I need the var lib and then my SQL beneath that. And there it is. So that's the entirety of that directory. Now, there's a couple ways that this can be done. I can mount it as a local file system. And I want to show you this because it's really kind of cool. If we look at the temp folder right now, you can see what's in there, right? There's nothing mentioned about copy in there right now. I'm going to pull that to the side. I'm going to mount this as a local file system. And it tells you that it's going to mount it there. And if I look there, one more look at that we see we've got a new directory. And in that directory, we can see everything we're looking for. We can just copy it right from a command line from there to the other. And I've done that before. That's how I usually do it because it's predictable. I know how it's going to end up. I haven't done this before. I'm going to unmount that. So that'll remove the mount that you saw a minute ago. And we're just going to choose restore files and directories. And I'm going to take this location, var live MySQL, and put that right here. Now there's nothing in there, so I don't have to worry about overwriting files and directories, but if I wanted to do that, that'd be the way to do it. Uh, overwrite symbolic links, overwrite everything. Why wouldn't I overwrite everything? I'm not really sure about atomically or sparse files. If somebody wants to weigh in on that, please let me know. I'm assuming overwrite symbolic links means put the same symbolic link in over atop the old one if it finds one. Again, no reason not to. Um, and so we'll say shallow restore at depth. Don't know what that means. Minimal file size for shallow restore. Don't know what that means. Anybody knows, feel free to, uh, to chime in on that one. And disable zip compression. Do not compress when restoring to a zip file. I'm not restoring to a zip file, so that's a non-issue. So that's where I'm going. I'm going to double check that. Click begin restore. And it's off to the races. Now, while that's doing that, we'll just come over here and take a look. See if things are going where we think they should be going. And there they are. Now, I'm not sure about these um, permission structures. They look a little odd to me. Not sure what's going on there. Now, in my case, I think I have the same MySQL version on the server that the backup is being done for. I actually had to do a complete reinstall in this case, but I do believe it's the same MySQL version. No harm, no file. If it's not, if things don't work, I'll get the same version installed and and do this over again, but we'll see in a second. Okay, it says task succeeded a minute and 33 seconds later. So I'm just going to come in here and start my SQL. Well, that's not a good start. Okay, well, a little bit of research later. It didn't take long. I was My first instincts were right. Those permissions were definitely wrong. I'm not sure why the previous permissions were wrong, but that's another story. Nothing to do with this video. Uh, the correct um, permissions are, in fact, MySQL and 750. After I did that, I had no problem starting the database and using all of the things I intended to use. So that's how you restore your 
In this case, it's my internal database, but uh, an external database, I would imagine, would work much the same way. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this helps you as I know it's going to help me in the future.